Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video we're going to talk about some material that we want to continue on our structure on any 3D object. So for example, in here, if you can see, uh, I put these two, right, alongside each other and we want to create this thing in here. But as you can see, because the scale of this is not as a scale of this object, if I change the scale of this, you can see the scale of these, um, what you call it, these bricks is not going with these other 3D object. And you can see in the middle, it's not beautiful at all. And in the um, side of it, again, it's not cool. But if we fix it, it should be like this, right? So, for example, in here, if I bring it to the right, you can see it's just streaming that um, texture on both of them uh, like they are connected together. And if we uh, make it bigger, again, it will work. And if we bring it down as well, you can see it will work as well. If you go to the side, you can see it's continuing projecting or texture on the side of our um, 3D object again. So with this, we can create some um, building that looks very much realistic without no problem. This way it's too hard to do and there always be some problem like this. And if I change the position of that like this or let's just turn off these and now you can see the brakes in here is not working fine. They are not continued. It's, it's like um, this one goes through this. It's not realistic. So let me show you how you can fix this kind of things in Unreal Engine. Five. So for fixing this problem, let's see what we can do. So in here, I want to create a material and I want to call it M for material, material break. Okay. Or whatever you want to call it, it will be okay. Double click on it to open it. It we did open in here. No, we have this. Let's just find a texture to goes with it. And I want to use this texture, the texture of the break, right? Connect the RGB to base color and if we change this uh, preview shape to the um, cube, you can see it's cool, right? But if we apply just this, it won't work. It will be again like this, right? So let's just apply that, the material that we just create to both of them, okay? One way is just drag and drop, one way to click on it and put it in here for both of them in material section in 11.0, right? So no, we should fix that. There are some way to fix that. One of them is virtual texturing. In last video, I did talk about it. That one is easier to understand it, but this way to do it, we can do it with UVs. And first of all, what I'm going to do in here, I wanna get the pixel normals, okay? It will give us all the pixels on the 3D object give us all the pixels and it will give us the position of all the pixels normals. So let me show you. Um, for example, if I drag and drop from here and say, and say component mask, okay? And with component mask, if I want to just uh, mask the X, mask the x of this position this uh, normal position for the pixels of that um, i will sh i will get this right click on it and start previewing it and now you can see because we did mask the r r is rgb x y and z and we mask the r it will give us the x side of that you can see the x side of that so this is the x so if I want to get just the pixels that on the, for example, Y side of that, I can just again say component mask and in here mask the G, X, Y, Z. So this is Y. And if I preview this, start preview mode from here. 
and now you can see the y is in this side and we can get the uh, y side of that right <laughs> we can get this side of the over 3d object and now what i'm going to do first of all i want to get the absolute value from these two from the x and y so i use apps in here for get the absolute no i want to use an if statement and with that let's just create some constant in here for example so you can see when we get this value that uh, we mask the x when we get here it will give us the x side of whatever 3d object that we have right so this side the old pixel will be one because it is white and white means one right white always in material and shader means one and the black means zero so we can use this if statement and tell it if it is for example bigger than 0.5 so it is in the right side in the x side right so i want to connect this to a and i want to check it with the pixel normal position of the x side right let's just first stop previewing from here i want to check it with 0.5 so if it is white or if it is one one is more than 0.5 give us zero right give us zero hold one on your keyboard and uh, hit left mouse button it will create constant for you if you don't know about this stuff just watch my uh, material to uh, material playlist of the video and you will learn a lot next uh, for when a is equal to b or a equal a is less than b what it means when it's in the y side or z side right if it's on those side give us one so let's just create another one at one in here and connect it to both of these right and this one we did it for the x side no i want to copy and paste this for the y side as well so let's just connect that to here and that's that is finished we we check if the pixel that we want to draw something on it is the, on the x side or y side or z side now with that we should play with the uvs of this and how i i want to i want to do that i want to search for word position okay and in word position i want to get the component mask and in here first of all i want to get the x and y of each pixel each triangle each vertices right and again i want to do it for all the sides so again component mask and this time i want to get g and b y and z and next one i want to get component mask and this time i want to get the r and b that is mean x and z right so with that i want to lerp through them so lerp search for lerp and we need linear interpolation and we want to lerp between the x y and y z with this lerp node let's just bring this to the right a little bit and i want to lerp all of these like this between this and this side that is x and z right now the alphas and you can see in here this is where we want to decide if we want to draw on x y or y z so in here you know that we are getting the x and we check with the x if it is x or z or y right so we can connect this to the alpha of this and in this lerp we are checking between all of these uh, x y and y z and to the rb that is x z so let's just connect these to here no we can just connect this to uv but it's always better to have some control over it so we can just divide it by a, a scalar value in here so i want to call it uv okay so we can change it whenever we want and connect it to here and connect it to the uv i want to give it a default value of 100 for example and now with that let's just save this and let's just go to our material right click on it and create a material instance off of that and now let's just go here and for both of them i want to 
choose over material instance for both of them now in here you can see at the middle there is no uh, problem so if we make this a smaller like this again it won't give us any problem and if we bring it down you can see at the side again there is no problem and there is some continuity in it right so everything is cool with that if you want to make this big or change its position you can create some buildings with it and it will works fine right at the side it will be okay and again if we change the position to the top again it will be okay it's like continuing the um, this bigger one right so let me position it better so you can see it clearly you can see there you can't uh, find out uh, that these two 3d objects are separate it's like a one 3d object and now with our material instance if we double click on it and put it in here we can change the uv like this so if i want to change it to for example 50 again it will works fine and you won't see any problem with that so let me show you in here if i can bring it focus yeah so if i change the uv to 20 for example again it will work if i change it to 200 again it will work and everything is fine with that right so so that was one way to do it but there is other ways to do it if you want me to create more stuff like this please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye